Autonomous navigation via deep reinforcement learning for resource constrained edge nodes using transfer learning. Machine learning systems can be seen everywhere these days. Applications such as ritual assistant, traffic prediction, and image recognition has become an important part of our life. In the past decade, there has been significant increase in the use of IoT devices. According to a survey, by year 2030, the number of such IoT devices is estimated to reach 50 billion. These IoT devices are limited in resources such as battery power and compute capability. Hence, there is a need of designing energy-efficient ML system. This work focuses on proposing an energy-efficient ML system design for drone autonomous navigation using deep reinforcement learning. The speed of the drone depends on how fast it can process single image frames. For a speed of 10 meters per second, at least 15 FPS is required for a real-time decision making. We propose a two-phase transfer learning approach as a means to reduce the number of training computations without compromising on the autonomous navigation performance. In the offline training phase, the network is trained on a set of 3D meta environments. Once trained, the learn weights are used as initializer for the network to be trained in the test environment. But instead of training the entire network, only the last few layers are trained. The network used for training is shown above. In the offline phase, the entire network is trained, while in the online phase, only the last four, last three, and last two layers of the network are trained. The table above compares the number of weights and the floating point operations required. The flow plan and screenshots of the eight meta environments used in the offline phase can be seen. These 3D realistic environments are manually designed on Unreal Gaming Engine by taking into account different lighting conditions, wall patterns, object type and sizes, etc. For the online phase, different environmental and action space variations were carried out, as seen above. The graphs above show the reinforcement learning return for different train types across different environmental and action space variations. It can be seen that in all the cases, training the last four layers seems to gain the same reinforcement learning return as that of training the entire network. Similar trend can be seen for the mean safe flight, which is the average distance traveled before crash. The autonomous navigation for train type last two, last four can be seen in the video above. The graph above plots the resources required to carry out training for different train types. The energy required for train type last four is 3.3 times less than E2E while training, retaining the same mean safe flight. The proposed approach was able to improve the energy requirements while retaining the performance.